Tamara Obscura is actually one of Edinburgh's most popular tourist attractions, with a TripAdvisor rating of 4.5 out of 5 stars, and the criticisms being a bit stupid. <laughs> And these views. But let's not focus on that. Instead, we're going to go over the history of how this building came about. James Shaw earned his money by creating telescopes. His telescopes went all over the world to places including St. Petersburg, Paris, Harvard, and other private buyers elsewhere in America. James had a reputation of being very good at making telescopes. Wow, I'm bloody amazing at making telescopes. Wow, James, that's, that's an amazing telescope. He died in 1768, leaving an estate of over £2,000. Thomas Short, James's brother, was still alive and so he went down and inherited the 12-foot telescope and probably got a hefty chunk of that estate as well. Thomas decided to build an observatory at Calton Hill and was given some money from the city to build it. And so, the city observatory was built, leading to spectacular views and brought even more money for Thomas. Then Thomas died and nothing interesting happened for about 40 years. But after those 40 years, Mary Shaw arrived from the West Indies. However, this caused a scandal as nobody truly believed that she was the daughter of Thomas Shaw. She comes out of nowhere claiming to be related to him. How are we supposed to believe her? Yeah! She's got no proof of it. We can't just believe her based on nothing. Yeah! Plus, she's a woman. We're men. We know better. Yeah! Come on, man. It's early to mid-1800s. Let's leave these stereotypes behind. Sorry, guys. I'll be better next time. Yes! We beat sexism! I don't think Mary Short was the, the daughter of uh, Tom Short because uh, he dies in 80, 1788 in his 70s and it would be a biological miracle if Maria Short could actually be his daughter. Despite the backlash, she got the 12-foot telescope and made her own observatory on a different part of Colton Hill in 1835. Sadly, in 1850, it was torn down by the Lord Provost. <laughs> My no, observatory! No. Mary Short responded by buying an old tenement building and adding two floors to it. Maria Short's evicted from the Colton Hill Observatory and she looks for a, a suitable alternative and finds a 17th century townhouse which had belonged to the Lairds of Compen. So she buys it in 1851 and she then converts it into an observatory. She died in 1868 and it was run by her husband up until 1892 when it was bought by The Amazing. He's born in Barata and truly remarkable. Patrick Geddes. Patrick Geddes actually added the camera obscura to the building and he did this for some reason. Well, the reason I did this. Oh, sorry, mate. Um, the battery ran out of time, so maybe, maybe this is full. Uh, yeah. You sure? Yeah. Okay, go away. So that is the story of how camera obscura came about with several deaths, a scandal, and even some big telescopes. Where else could you possibly want in a documentary? 